You're right. How are we doing, everybody? So I've been looking at this Black Shot Revelation update, like just trying to find some information. I've kind of noticed a couple of things that I've seen in the video, so I'm going to share my thoughts with you. I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you get some good information out of it. All right, so the first thing I noticed, um, if you look at these AK-47s here, all right, the three different model types, the Shadow of the Jungle and the SRN, um, if you noticed, you know as he's clicking on the different weapons, you can see the speed changing. Um, so it seems like the cheaper ones, you know, you're going to be running slower with. So, like, what I always think, like, this is this is why I think the game's still going to be slightly paid to win. Because if you, the AK-47... Um, SRN is this, you know that that you run the slowest with that, and then the jungle you get a little bit faster, the shadow you get a little bit faster. So what if they bring out an AK forty seven SRN Omega? You know, how, you know, you, are you going to be running like you're holding a P ninety? You know what I mean? It seems like they said this: all the guns are going to be equal, um, and skins are just going to be cosmetics. But it, it already doesn't seem like that. <laughs> Like, I can already see changes in the skins. You just go into a skinned weapon and you can see the speed difference. So, is the recoil... I don't think the recoil will be different. I'm, I'm hoping the recoil won't be different. Because it's, the recoil is the main, the main thing to the game. You know, if you've got an AK that shoots like... I don't know... Um, a P2000, or and then you've got, you know, another guy with an AK and it shoots like, you know, an AK, a 7.62 round assault rifle... He, that guy's not going to have a chance. Like, that's why Black Shot's so paid to win. But with with these slight little changes between the weapons, it's like, okay, so if I get a 4 or a 5-star AK-47, am I going to be able to run faster? Is the recoil going to be different? Obviously, I think you're going to be able to run faster because we can already see that with the 1, 2, and 3-stars. So if you get a 4 or 5-star, what's that going to do? So that's... That's just something I've noticed in this video. So take it we you know, take it like take it as a pinch of salt. Like don't don't be like, oh my god, he's you know, he's right, or oh my god, you you know, you're just being fucking skeptical or whatever. <clears throat> like, I, I don't know, I'm only saying what I've seen. But it's not it's not gonna be as bad as what it was. Just remember that. It's not gonna be even close to as bad as what it was. So remember that, like guaranteed. Uh, but I, I personally think it's gonna be a little bit pay to win. All right, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is the new, um, how the gears work now. Like, <clears throat> I've seen that multi-weapon is now a, you know, a cheap item. It's 500 gold, you know, like the same price as everything else. I, I don't know what the repair cost on, is on that because I haven't seen it, right? So repair, <clears throat> repair cost for one, obviously, like, that's just a load of crap, to be fair. Um, it's you, Everything's just timed now, basically. You know, like before you get, it, it's, it's, it's to be fair it's the same there's no there's no difference except for now you purchase it and it'll be in your inventory over time but when it breaks you can't use it instead of it just disappearing but everything is still time so don't you know like i know they said um oh like there's not everything's permanent yeah that's yeah but it breaks you know what i mean so just you know ignore them on that but the multi-weapon thing um is knocked down on price which is a really good thing uh, i really like the new gear like how the gears work like your passives, for instance, I noticed to get the two second less on the diffuse or plant time is now a passive, which is awesome. So you know you can have your medic, your speed boost, um, and your and your bomb timer. But the problem is, I think I think it's going to be difficult for someone to run. Like someone that's playing as a free to play is going to find it difficult to run all this stuff at the same time. Like this is what I'm thinking. Um, because obviously you've got you know your speed boost your med kit your multi-weapon your magazine extension and then your bomb defusal then you've got you know your primary weapon your second primary weapon your pistol and your melee weapon what's the repair cost going to cost on that per game they said it's going to you're going to get around 3500 an hour so unless you're make it like unless it's only going to cost you know um I don't even know, like a hundred for each item an hour to repair, then you're not really going to be making any profit. So 
I would, like I'd, I wouldn't focus on getting everything at once. I'd probably focus on like a, a single gun build to start off with. But yeah, I, I don't. I think this is going to be difficult for free to plays to maintain, like to try to keep everything maintained all the time. I think it's going to be hard for a free to play player, uh, especially with the cost of the AWP. Like we're seeing the repair on that for an hour. How much was that? It, it was expensive that way. <clears throat> yeah, so we can see. Uh, you know, for one hour, 1,440. For three hours, 4,320. So, you know, like I said, your guns are just timed. You know, there's no there's no difference. But, right, imagine for a free-to-play player, every hour it's going to cost him 1,440 for his sniper, um, which is basically the price of the sniper. So, you, you know, then you've got your assault rifle at another 1,200, then your handgun at another 700, your melee weapon at another 500, multi-weapon 500. Um, you know, all your other slots, 500, it's going to be like 7K an hour. It's going to be twice as much as what you're making. So a free-to-play player isn't going to be able to have everything. So again, this is kind of pushing towards pay-to-win. Like, you know, if you pay, then, you know, you can have all this stuff all the time. But if you're free-to-play, you're going to struggle to maintain it. Uh, that's it. <clears throat> Again, to me, it's just it's pushing towards pay-to-win. I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, <laughs> but it, this is just from what I can see. You know what I mean? Like I, I can see this in the live stream. It, it looks like the game is still going to be slightly paid to win. But um, I'm just going to leave it on that. This is just I was watching the live stream and I see well this video, and I seen, you know, just picked up on a couple of things and I thought yeah I best get this out there like so people don't get their hopes up too much. But I'll see you in a couple of days anyway. I'll see you on the uh, the release day. Uh, the person that actually made this video i'll link his video in the description if you want to go check it out like the full video and um yeah i'll see you on release day i'll probably be playing all day live streaming all day i hope you got some good information out on this and i will uh, see you on the day i'll see you all next time in a bit guys peace